Yo, what's up guys from my video on the Anchor channel and today's video I'm gonna be giving you guys the best weapons for every magic inside of Arcane Odyssey Now what I mean by this is what weapons work the best with what magics So I'll be going through every single magic here and the best weapon that you should definitely be using if you are using that magic uh, This is gonna be more for conjurers as we're kind of focusing on an imbued weapon here with uh, just a single magic so uh yeah before i start this video i just want to say please 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 like the video our goal is going to be 150 likes for this video uh yeah it's literally free bro please do it anyway let's get right onto it so first things first we have acid fire magma plasma and poison now these as you guys might already know are dot moves so basically what they require you to do is they require you to actually hit the enemy so obviously when you want to hit the enemy then you're going to want something that has a huge hitbox so I picked the Ravana Greatsword for this because honestly, in my opinion, the Ravana Greatsword has a lot of damage at the same time. The E move has like a shotgun kind of, covers so much AoE. Oh crap. Like I was saying, it covers so much AoE. So obviously you're going to be hitting the enemy the most for this weapon. Honestly, all you have to do is hit them once until it activates the DOT. So this is why I feel like this weapon is probably the best for these magics. Uh, yeah, overall, this weapon is also just an extremely good weapon. So we're kind of getting like a two-in-one combo here. Moving on, we do have Ice, Snow, and Wind. Now, just by hearing those magic, you should already know that obviously I'm talking about the Sunken Sword. Now, if you guys don't already know, these actually three magics actually activate freezing on soaked enemies. Now, Wind doesn't actually activate the freezing effect on soaked enemies, but it does activate the freezing effects if you're fighting in like a cold area. So, for example, if I was fighting someone in Frostmill Island, then you're automatically freezing. You can also be in water as well, and the water makes you freezing as well. I'm pretty sure it makes you freezing at nighttime, and it also soaks you. But basically, if you do have that freezing effect, then Wind actually does actually like freeze freeze you into like the ice. Now, obviously, for ice and snow, the soaked effect obviously turns into frozen if you merge it with ice and snow as they are both cold based attacks. Well, I mean, cold based magics but yeah overall these uh it's probably the best weapon you can use with it overall it is a really solid weapon as well the e combo move is really really good but yeah basically just the main reason for this is that obviously the weapon actually has the soaked effect on it which these obviously go really really well with the soaked effect moving on we do have light and shadow now the weapon i chose for these are the silent blades slash the poison tooth dagger the reason for this is that these are really really fast weapons so obviously if you're hitting the enemy more then it's going to constantly be either blinding them if you're light or making their screen darker if you guys have shadow so honestly it's probably the best two weapons for it i could have just said poison tooth dagger but honestly silent blade is also another extremely fast weapon which is much easier to get in my opinion so yeah i thought i'd just put that in there if you guys do have silent blades then it's as good as poison tooth dagger for these two magics right here obviously always inflicting that blind damage and the shadow damage making their screen blind and then obviously making their screen super dark all right moving on we do have lightning and ash now what i chose for this is the cultist staff now the reason for this is that these both magics both have abilities activate when you've done i think it's around 33 percent of their hp that activates like this stun effect on them so the reason why i picked this one is because everyone knows the cold staff as being a very very high damage move so the e move in particular has a lot of damage and the aoe is also pretty good so obviously with this move if you were to hit it then you have a higher chance of obviously getting that 33 percent of hp off of them which then obviously will put the stun into effect i'm pretty sure it stuns them for a few seconds but yeah this one's the best weapon by far that actually works well with, with lightning and ash and uh yeah all right now moving on we have water wind wood sand metal glass explosion earth crystal now these are kind of the, the magics that don't have too crazy of abilities obviously half of these on this list have bleeds but then the other half kind of just don't have anything like for example water wind sand like all these abilities they don't really have obviously they have like the soaked effect for example but soaked there's nothing in the game that really helps soak effect like if there was like a lightning sword for example then obviously it would be really good against soaked but there isn't a lightning weapon, so it just really isn't that good. But yeah, obviously, the, the reason why I picked the Poison 2 Dagger is because overall, it is one of the best weapons in the game. Obviously, inflicts poison damage, so you're also getting that other DOT in there as well. And also, it's extremely fast. Helps out the bleed damage as well. If you hit them a bunch of time, basically, if you get over 5% of their HP, then they start taking bleed damage. So if you hit them with a really fast weapon, you're going to get that 5% off really, really fast, which obviously will activate the bleed damage. Also, like I said, Poison 2 Dagger is a really, really good overall weapon. Like, it's a weapon that most of you guys should be using by default in your inventory. I don't have it on this account, but if I did, then I'd obviously be using it right now. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you didn't hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to my channel. I'm trying to get to 5k by the end of the month. I know I wanted to get to 4k, but we hit 4k quite quick. So let's see if we can get 5k. Uh, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Anyway, like I said, that is it for the video. And uh, yeah, peace out, boys.